The Tom Collins, one of the most iconic classics that dates back to the 19th century. Let's see how to make it properly. Who invented the Tom Collins? We can't really know for sure nowadays. There are a couple of versions of this. What we know for sure though is that it appeared for the first time in 1876 in Jerry Thomas's Bartender's Manual. And you ask yourself, who is Jerry Thomas? Jerry Thomas is the godfather. He is pretty much the first person who created a bartender's manual. He is, for many people, the father of American mixology. First, let's have a look of how the professor himself served the Tom Collins. And over here, I have a copy of his bartender manual, of course, a modern, modernized copy. And when we open it, we're gonna find multiple recipes of the Tom Collins. We're gonna focus today on the Tom Collins with Jim. First ingredient is five or six dashes of gum syrup. Seems a bit too much for me, but I guess back in the days they had a slightly sweeter palate. Second ingredient is the juice of a small lemon. Seems about enough. A small lemon could have around an ounce or 30 mils, so that should be enough. The third ingredient is, of course, gin, and it calls for a big wine glass of gin. A wine glass full of gin you may think that people back in the days were all extreme alcoholics, but that's not really the case because it was a measuring unit and it measured around two ounces or 60 mils. I'm pretty sure that if I got served by the professor himself, I would have loved his Tom Collins. But today we're gonna make it with our modern measurements. To make our Tom Collins, we're gonna need 30 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice, 20 mils of simple syrup, 60 mils of London dry gin, and some soda water or any kind of sparkling water to top it up. Traditionally, the Tom Collins was made by using Old Tom Gin. That is a different gin category, and the Old Tom is pretty much a slightly sweetened type of gin that was very common back in the days because people were doing a lot of homemade spirits and to cover up the bad quality of their products, they used to add sugar. So nowadays it's not as common as it used to be. So today we're gonna make a Tom Collins by using London Dry Gin and make pretty much the same cocktail, achieve the same balance. If you happen to have the old Tom Gin at home, then just reduce the amount of sugar by five to 10 milliliters and give it a try. The drink could be either built straight into the glass or shaken. When you build it into the glass, you're gonna add the soda, stir up the ingredients and lose some bubbles in the process. That's why I actually prefer to give it a short shake, around five seconds, just to mix up all the ingredients, straight it into the glass and then add the soda to keep that fizziness in there. Let's start first by squeezing our fresh lemon juice. As I've said before, we're gonna use 30 mils or one ounce. Our second ingredient is the sweetener and that is simple syrup in this case. We're gonna use 20 mils or three quarters of an ounce. If you don't know how to make your own simple syrup, then check out our video from the homemade stuff playlist. Our third ingredient, which is also the base spirit in this case, is London Dry Gin. I'm gonna go for Tanqueray because it's more classic, it has a stronger juniper taste, so it's gonna really stand out well in this drink. 60 mils or two ounces. Now we have everything beside the soda into our shaker, so it's time to add some fresh ice inside and give it a short shake for around five seconds. Time to strain our cocktail. Important is that you first strain the drink into the glass and then add the ice. You don't want to pour straight over the ice because this will cause an extra dilution and we don't want that. All right, cocktail is in the glass. Time to add some fresh ice. Important is that we fill up our Collins glass straight up to the top with ice because this is going to give us the exact measurement of soda water, which is around 60 milliliters. And there it is, the Tom Collins. As for the garnish, I really don't think that this cocktail needs uh, to be garnished. You can uh, use a lemon wedge or a maraschino cherry or both. For me, it should stay like this, simple, refreshing and delicious. The Tom Collins. 
And this is how you make the classic Tom Collins. You could easily switch out the gin with any other spirit and try out the difference basically by making a totally new cocktail. Um, I definitely suggest the Rum Collins, which is made with white rum. In the future, we're gonna show you one of the relatives of the Tom Collins and that is the Gin Fizz. So one of the key differences is that the Tom Collins is served on ice and in a Collins glass and that the Gin Fizz is served or optionally served with egg white. And that is actually the favorite cocktail of our video editor, Tony. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to support us with a small like or if you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure you do it because you don't wanna miss our future episodes. And thank you for watching until the end. Um, in case you liked the video, then hit that like button. Also, our mission is actually to show you guys how to make great drinks and how to make it easy at home. So if there is something that you would love to see in the future or something that you could think we can make better, then add this to the comments and we would love to hear back from you. So, Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> ah, perfect. <laughs> another thing uh, about the Tom Collins is that is <clears throat> another thing. One of the key differences is that it's served on eins. On eins. <laughs> Come over here. Let's uh, say hi. Say hi. <laughs>